What's going on everyone? Welcome back to JRT Productions. My name is Jose and thank you guys for joining me here today. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell button to stay up to date with all my latest content regarding tech, cameras, and possibly cars. So sorry it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded and that's because I got the COVID-19 virus. Now it's not fun and luckily I didn't get it as bad as many others have, but I might be coughing throughout this video and that's not an infectious cough. It's just in a cough that just keeps following with me since I got the virus, so we'll see. <coughs> but today, as you saw in the thumbnail and the title down below, we are going to be unboxing the HomePod Mini. Of course, this is the HomePod Mini, kind of like the little brother to the massive HomePod that you can buy currently online for $299. Now, luckily, this one comes in just under $100 but obviously $100 with tax. Now, the great thing about the HomePod mini is that it actually competes with Alexa, Google, and those other little home devices that are currently in your house. So there's not that many of you guys that actually want to buy the HomePod. So that's why Apple came out with the HomePod mini, which is more affordable and more obviously in the price range and size of the current ones that are out there like Alexa and Google. But yes, of course, you guys might think the HomePod has better sound. It's bigger for a reason. Well, actually, this HomePod mini is still designed just like the HomePod. Yes, it might not be as powerful as you want it to be, but it still packs a punch for the size. So let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what's inside. So of course, inside you do have the HomePod. So it's this little device really cool material still the same material on the outside and on top just like the home pod so let's just put this to the side for now and inside you do get a little tiny obviously instruction manual you probably get some apple stickers like you usually would and you actually get a wall connector now that's very odd um, especially Apple hasn't shipped these with the newer iPhones, unfortunately. So for Apple to include the brick still in the packaging is very rare, um, especially that it's a USB-C, which is now what the iPhone uh, 12, 12 Pros, I believe. Um, the input is, the input to the brick is USB-C, but the input to the device is still lightning. But they didn't ship this with the iPhone, so it's great to have a few of these around. I do have this on my iPad, iPad, um, but it's great to have another one of these around. So let's go ahead and set this up real quick. So unfortunately, the HomePod Mini doesn't quite work well with Spotify and those other third-party um, streaming services. It only kind of works with Apple Music, which makes sense. I mean, they kind of want to support their own streaming service instead of a third party streaming service so right now it's currently just a white blinking light i'm not sure if it's searching for something specific it's on so currently of course just like you're setting up a pair of airpods they automatically connect to, like with bluetooth so it does the same thing here as well so I click setup uh let's see this is gonna be in my bedroom so let's go ahead and click bedroom so now i might set up homepod with um apple music i can try it out for three months um i do have spotify so i kind of want to stick with spotify but i might try it out for three free months and see if i like it or not so homepod can also recognize your voice kind of like your siri does when you have to ask it or when it actually asks you to say a few things so it can recognize your specific voice so it can actually also recognize the voice of each person at your house Wow. But what's cool about HomePod as well is that if you buy a second one of these, you can set this right by your TV and have both of them kind of playing as a stereo service, stereo sound system. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say, hey, Siri. Let's get started. Say, hey, Siri, what can you do? Hey, Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. Hey Siri, play some music. Now playing Apple Music One. Hey, play with a baby, I swear it's gonna go down. 
So that's a little bit about HomePod. I'll do a week review after I've had this for a week and I've been able to play a lot of music since I do play a lot of music and I rely on my headphones, my AirPods, and my current Bose sound system speaker that I have. So now that I have the HomePod mini, I'll probably be using this a lot more now since it's gonna be a lot easier to connect to. Plus every Apple device works so well together. I know I could be going on about this for hours and hours, but I don't want to bore you guys to death. I wanted to keep this a two minute long video, kind of like my two minute Tech Tuesdays, which I'm trying to do, but I don't think they're sticking under two minutes quite yet. So that's a little bit about HomePod. If you guys have any further questions or would like to see more content of the HomePod, I'll link it down below. And I also will have some links down in the description where you guys can go ahead and check out the HomePod mini if you're interested. Now I will again do a one week review after kind of just to show you guys what I think of the HomePod mini. So thank you again for joining me here today and watching this video. Make sure to hit a like and subscribe at the end. I will see you guys in the next one. See you.